Robert John Butt, better known as Bobby B, 100 training wins. When Demel Monch won your first race back in about, oh, I think it was 2013, that might have seemed a wee way off. Oh, yeah, for sure. But no, um, good thrill to get there. I didn't realise it was coming up, actually. So um, no, it's a good surprise. All right, so with ice was the horse uh, off the back mark, of course, at the Manawatu meeting, a meeting that you hadn't attended in some time, I understand. Nah, I hadn't been here for years. Um, used to come up um, when the old man used to bring a team up here when I just first started driving. So, um, no, nah, it's good to be back and catch up with everyone anyway. It was a pretty good effort, fresh up off the, I think you were 45 behind them. Um, did pick them up pretty comfortably going down the back straight and... Given how well it went yesterday, going into Thursday, there must be some improvement there. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, like he hadn't, hadn't had a run since before Christmas, so um, yeah, ho hopefully he can improve a bit. He, he sort of didn't trot the bends that good yesterday. He can get on a knee a bit and that, but um, once once he once he got round them, he was um, too too good for them. All right, gets into a, a similar type of race on, on Thursday, basically against the same field, pretty much off the same mark. There'd be no reason to think that he couldn't do the same thing again. Yeah, no, nah, hopefully, mate. Just 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 hoping he, he backs up all right, which I think he will. Um, and, yeah, just bad luck out of it. Hopefully he's a, he's a good um, top three chance anyway. Just back to your training, Bob, and this season alone, kicking off, of course, on the 1st of January, 20 wins already beyond your expectations? Oh, by far, mate. No, but just um, just really lucky. You just um, had some real, really nice horses walk in the gate um, that have all sort of been down in the grades and they've done, they've done a great job. One of those being Come Together, who went back-to-back, -back, of course, winning yesterday as well. Um was too good for smoking hot cheddar. Uh, it's a pretty long way from winning at Invercargill to Manawatu. Not many horses do that uh, and and win like uh, she did yesterday. Got up the passing lane. It looked a pretty soft sort of win. Is that how it felt? Yeah, yeah. No, she she picked the leader up pretty easy, and she just, she was just mucking around a bit late as she can do. But um, no, she's 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 got a good turn of foot and that. So always sort of she was sort of within two or three lengths. Of, that sort of field, she she'd be able to pick them up, and as it worked out, there's only five in it, so she was all, she was always probably going to be pretty hard to beat. Bob, good series this uh, in race number one on Thursday night at about quarter past four. You've come up with barrier four, uh, pretty much against the same horses. So again, no reason to think that she won't be uh, very competitive. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. Um, she's um, no, nah, it's good. Good we race for fifteen grand, so. Um, no, hopefully she can she can put a foot forward again and go another good race. Horse has been doing some good things for you since you took over a taste of honey. Again, got the business done in the Harra Cup. Um, they got a bit closer towards the end. Uh, how comfortable was it? Oh, she she sort of actually won it good. She was pricking her ears all the way up the straight. She bludged around a bit in that, um, sort of waiting for them. So um, no, she I, I was sort of never really worried of getting beat. But um, no, she um, she, she's she's quite a nice mare. This horse, like she ran second in the big mares race on um, show day. It took better talk up. Only just beat her a nose, so it's probably good form come back to races like this. Bob, is this going to be something that you're going to continue with going forward? Maybe Manawa too. Is it is it going to come up on the radar again, or is it about having the right horse for the right type of races? Yeah, no, nah, it's more more just having the right horses for the right races. Like they're great stakes. So um, the, these last couple of days, so I thought I'd I'd have a have a crack with them. And um, no, nah, there's been some good races I programmed. So, but oh, but you never know in the future if you if, um, you know if the horses need to come here. Well, yeah, I'll bring them. All right, Addington Raceway on Friday night. Um, I said on the box seat, it's like harking back 10 years ago or, or even longer. The depth and the quality, 130-odd horses. Gee, it's a good program there Friday. Oh, yeah, real good fields, aren't they? It's bloody, um, it's good to see. So, now there should be some good races. Yeah, let's talk about some of yours. Uh, Terra Maria and Manhattan in race number three. Yeah, um both nice mares in this grade so um 
we'll have a bit of luck that they'll they'll be thereabouts at the finish. All right, race number five himself didn't have much luck last time. Um, I'd expect from a handy barrier draw. It's a good good race. It's indicative of the race night, but um, should should be competitive again. Um, well, it's massive jump up for him, so um, he'll just need a soft soft run on the pegs, hopefully, and uh, can just be running on. But um, no, it's a massive jump in class. But it's just the way the ratings worked out. He's sort of just got to go around in it. Well, of course, he takes on uh, a quality mare and darling me, amongst others. He's a sports in there. Tail or toll's been flying. So, yeah, I get your set of it's there. Let's go to the feature trot, which is the Lamb and Haywood uh, handicap. Your group one performer, heavyweight hero. He's had four runs back now, Bob. Um, what have you made of those? And is he getting now somewhere near his peak? Well, I was bloody really disappointed with his run last Friday. Um, his, his first up run... Um, I was wrapped with where he sat parked sort of the last half and just blew out late. But, um, no, nah, I don't know what to make of last week, and I've taken a blood, and he seems really well. So I'm just hoping that he had an off night. It's a deep race. Matadiros is in there. Obviously, the reigning horse of the year, Sunday Sun, and Bolt for brilliance. Um, is, it, is it now going to be a case of you having a steer again on him and getting a feel and knowing where you're at there, or...? Should we be considering him for a top four chance this week, given there's only seven in it? Oh, I mean, it, well, you probably couldn't take him as a top four chance the way he went last week, but on his day, if he got a nice run through the pegs or something, well, he can do it, but he's probably just a watch this week. Bob, really appreciate your time. Congratulations yesterday on achieving the 100 wins as a trainer. Three up, three down, three winners for you too. Um, so a bit of a red letter day for your barn and, be making your, your grandparents, uh, Robin and Jackie, pretty proud having those colours out there and doing what they did back in the 70s and 80s. Yeah, no, nah, it's great. They, they, they get great thrill out of it, and it's great because they've been massive supporters of mine, and, um, yeah, I wouldn't be where I am without them. So I'm um, re really lucky to have um, to have had them help me along the way. Go well. Good luck tomorrow uh, at the Mighty Manawa too. We'll catch you at Addington on Friday night, and all the best there.